we're hopefully all looking to change um, to change our societies in some way. We're all looking to kind of develop and to um, grow, and we all we all have uh, problems. They're different problems um, manifest in different ways in different co in different um, countries. And I think one of the ways we can learn from each other is is um, Firstly, appreciating that, appreciating uh, the different situations that people find themselves in and just kind of share an, an understanding that the, there are other ways of doing things. And that um, uh, I, I'm always struck, you know, working in the Middle East, I, I came from a, a background of doing lots of work, uh, outdoor work. And it always struck me that people would say, well, of course, in, in, in the UK, you're very free to do things. And my response was always actually, no, it's much easier to do things out here. Um, we have all sorts of restrictions under the name of security or health and safety or, or um, uh, safe, you know, uh, crowd control or whatever it might be. All sorts of restrictions on what you can and can't do that way around. And it's, and it's therefore very useful to look at a different framework. And I think that goes for um uh, for sort of community challenges that you have they will be very different somewhere else and there that's that's a benefit in itself and that also with with arts i think so allows you then to isolate what you bring what you do and um on the whole i find artists are very are very good at collaborative practice not all of them obviously and there are bad examples as well but that sense of a shared endeavor of something you're doing together means that you create a quite equal honest open space where things are explored and nobody's kind of coming with the sense we have the right way and you need to learn the right way um, it's finding a new way and i think that's hugely valuable in, in issues of social development